Hello everyone, um, let's uh, take a look at a couple of trades I made today in, uh, in the market. Uh, basically, I did uh, NQ and, uh, and also CL uh, crude oil. Um, so uh, the um, uh, profit today was, uh, let me check again, uh, $2,240. $2, so um, before I start, uh, let me remind you a couple of things. I trade with Apex. Uh, you can find the um, you can find a link to a discount with them uh, in the description of this video. Also, um, remember to check uh, the setups, uh, the, the the chart setups uh, that I'm that I uh, that I have, and let me. Uh, pointed out uh, that uh, you can I'm gonna put a link over here so you can uh, you can check it out and um, and make sure that you visit it if you um, if you want to know how what is my my chart setups there this indicator right, right here is the MQ momentum and in the video description you can you can see that uh, you can easily repla replace it with the with the MACD uh, momentum indicator so with that uh, let me let, let's start uh, reviewing this so ES um, first of all I have to, to, to say that uh, today wasn't a good day for for me in terms of uh, of uh, the day the the time of the day that I traded just because I was uh, busy doing a doctor's appointment and stuff like that with um, about uh, until about uh, 11:30 to to 12 so uh, I missed all of this action here this one happens overnight so you see that uh, this uh, this move uh, I'm gonna put in this one in yellow instead. So this uh, move happened overnight, and then the market opened right here and it started to move uh, south. So um, this move was already was uh, done uh, when when I, I I came to trade, and um, and uh, actually there was a. Uh, a period here until uh, lunch uh, until after lunch that the market moved uh, sideways uh, right here and then broke uh, and make another um, another move to the downside I missed this one I didn't trade uh, in 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 um, yes uh, but uh, you can tell that uh, through if, if you see the anchor chart um, um, then you you'll see that there was a very nice move to the downside during the, the during the um, overnight uh, session and also when it opened okay so um, no trades in es for b today but um, but uh, there were some nice setups you see here that um, there is a, a week out of the um, uh, moving average there uh, i want to start a little bit earlier than that so let's um let's uh, start with that one the first uh, entry here was a week out of the um uh, 18 ema second one uh, a week out of the uh, 34 EMA, another week out of the um, uh, 18. In between the 18 and the and the 34, so that one is another another entry. Then this one is a little bit. It's kind of touching the um, the 18 EMA, but this one here was another. Uh, entry that probably could have been prof profitable for at least one contract so two trades uh, in the morning session and then um, there is a week out of the uh, cloud right here right so that one is a good one and also if you um, consider that you, ha you can have a, a horizontal line right there then you can um, 
you can you can uh, have trade also the the breakout uh, of of the um, of this uh, little channel uh, right there. So that little channel would be um, this uh, this one here, right? So you have the breakout off of that channel. It made made an attempt right here, but it didn't go th uh, through. Came back and then broke finally right there. So um, big move. I mean, it it was a big move to the downside. And if you see my uh, video of uh, of um, um, market analysis that I made uh, on Saturday, um, you can and, and I'm gonna put uh, another an, a, a, again the description. I mean the a link over there for you to look at it. Um, you can uh, tell that uh, there was a, a, a. It was kind of expected that uh, ES would move uh, uh, to the downside. So let's uh, see uh, NQ. Um, NQ here. Um, there's uh, one trade I made, and um, and the entry for. That one was, uh, let me move, uh, yeah, that one is fine. So it was right here. So uh, let me um, open, uh, okay, hold on. Let me open this one. Expand it a little bit so you will see the trade. The entry uh, was uh, right there. Um, the entry was actually in that uh, in that candle right there in that uh, brick, and then first target there, and second target uh, or 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 stopped out of the second um, a target, let's say, um, on on that uh, uh, candle right there when it reversed. So basically, I do have here uh, three contracts and then two contracts there. So you see, you can see the description or the the link. I want to put here the link because I I uh, over there you will see how I did the trade. I published earlier uh, today that uh, that um, uh, entry and uh, and how the this uh, trade was managed. Okay, so I'm not gonna talk about uh, that anymore just because uh, I, you can you can see the video but uh, then we have um, gold I did not trade gold today um, so it was uh, kind of uh, they made already moved they moved or overnight and then um, you know by um, 11 where that was when i started to I, I went to my computer there was no i mean it was already sideways you see that there is a a big um okay let's uh, do it again uh, there is a big uh channel right here but um it was failing to do the the uh, higher highs uh um, or, or to explode to the to the upside uh, right here. So uh, by the time I, I got to uh, I got to my computer, um, you know the price was moving in this uh, sideways direction. No trades for me there, and you can tell that uh, you know if you see the the uh, thirty minutes chart, there's uh, there's a. a, a there is a moving average there that it's a uh, 50 SMA and then that one there it's not uh, it, it was not moving off of this line or off of this uh, resistance so support and resistance right there okay so no trades in uh, in gold uh, if you were if you were trading in the morning then um, the the good trades have been uh right there so that one there is a week out of the as uh, 50 sma and then there's another here that it's a um a, excuse me this is the the smooth 50 so um uh 50 um sma of of the 50 moving average and then this one here it's a um a week out of the either the cloud 
yeah, I would say the cloud, but also um, also the uh, week out of the uh, um, the Ichimoku cloud. So that one would have been a good uh, trade as well. But after that, nothing actually, um, nothing there. Okay, so let's uh, look at um, at uh, uh, crude oil. I, I did uh, plenty of uh, trades in crude oil today. Uh, so let's uh, review that. Seems that I don't have the price activated. So let me go there and do it. Uh, text the market. Um, cancel. Where are you? Oh, I made a different day. Sorry about that. Okay, so here it is. So, um, so you see in the um, uh, anchor chart for today, let's uh, go there and expand it a little bit. So you see that uh, it, it overnight, uh, I'm going to move it a little bit more. Overnight there was, uh, let's uh, look at that. So overnight, there was a uh, move to the downside right here, and then another uh, in the in and then uh, in the um, before the market opened, we had a a, a pull uh, to the to the upside. Okay, made a lower high than than this one here, and then came back. I'm not going to analyze uh, news, but news were um, kind of important on on today's uh, price action. I may, again, I was not looking at the computer, so I missed all of this uh, uh, move to the downside at uh, until uh, uh, 10:17, and then the, the market started to recover, and then there was a um, there was a news uh, from OPEC um, right around. Uh, 1130 to 12. Okay, so um, so this one here, uh, it's a a range move down and then it, it move to the upside. So let's uh, review the uh, setups and the trades. Okay, um, so um guys let me let me tell you something about apex okay so if you want to qualify in apex you cannot um leave and move your stop down uh, larger than you, what you originally did and i think that this strategy i have is pretty good for apex just because it keeps the um percentage of your trades up and also because um, you keep uh, the money that you are making in each trade okay so um, just make sure that uh, you don't move uh, don't don't make the mistake that you know uh, that uh, you 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 think that uh, that the, the stop is go or the the price is going to move uh, uh, against you and then you say okay you know what, I'm going to, uh, you know, um, uh, make my stop larger so we, because it's going to record. That is a big mistake. It's a big mistake, and I, I've done it before. Don't do it. I mean, it's keep the, the, the stop uh, out. And there's always another trade if you can, you can re-enter, but don't lose, um, you know, the don't lose um, much much than your initial uh initial um uh, stop loss okay so if you if you define two hundred dollars and then keep keep up with the tip two hundred dollars and then don't don't make it four hundred uh, you know if you expand extend this and move this the stop below just because you think that it's going to recover this is a big mistake remember if you are doing uh two uh contracts then if if it moves against you it's going to be with the two contracts that are going to move move against while if you're uh, targeting a target and then a a runner or a second target then that is only one contract that is going to go up so you know be careful with that and you know um don't do the these uh, mistakes i you know, I I learn I, I I'm telling you because of experience. I, you know, um, it's a big mistake to 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 move the stops down. 
Okay, so uh, first uh, uh, entry right here was at uh, eleven fifteen. The, you know the, the 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 news came around this uh, this uh, um, uh, air, uh, this um, uh, time right here eleven thirty or something like that. So uh, I entered um, the first trade. Let me expand it. I always want to expand it. Okay, so let me expand it here so you see there's two um, two losses right there, right? That that there is a one one stopped, one 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 uh, the first one was a stopped out, the second entry was a stopped out as well. And that, now why did I enter it? Because of the thirty minutes uh, uh, opening range. You know, I thought by back here, down here, that that um, uh, what I saw, it's not what I thought, but what I saw is that there is a break within the um, a opening range. Uh, and, and I was expecting to go all the way to the other side. So I took the, 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 the risk there and it reversed on me. The first one, I lost $120, okay? So uh, remember my rule is that if the when, when I enter the um, the uh, uh, break co comes against me, then I'm exited once it closed. Okay. Now second entry was um, that one there. Uh, it's uh, better if I put it. Uh, so this candle here is the second entry, and then I was stopped out again, this time for $280. So in between the two of them, I am uh, down now um, $400 in between the two trades, okay? Now, um, you know, I thought, okay, now it lost it. It, it is going to come down and it's going to to move uh, side so, uh, south and uh, and so I'm gonna wait for another week out of these moving averages and move down. But it didn't happen. It went uh, all the way through. And now since I failed these two, I didn't enter the third one. Okay, um, but uh, there was a break out of this high, high higher high here. There's a higher high here, um, right there. And then I entered it when it broke, right? So that, that is the entry. First target off uh, for $200 was um, right here. I changed the color a little bit. Was right there. And then the second one was there. This one, this uh, trade was good for six hundred and ninety dollars. Okay, so six hundred and ninety dollars. Um, now I am at. Uh, let me get it uh, right. So I'm at two hundred and ninety. Okay, two hundred and ninety in between the three trades. Now market started to move sideways, but uh, then. I've seen this uh, this entry several times, and uh, this is uh, actually a pattern. Uh, it's not part of my um, uh, setups because I do I I try to to do uh, four setups only. But if you see this formation here, um, it's uh, it's um, very typical. You have a down, an up. I'm not going to to do it with this. So uh, let let's uh, let's do it again. So you have down, up, down, and then up. This one here, it's breaking, and it's called a failed um, a failed uh, um, a bearish. Um, um entry so it's a it, it's a second leg um to the upside and then i took this one when it broke uh let me expand it again so we can see it better so the entry is right there i i, I took it right there um when it confirmed after the second um uh the second bar so I took the trade right in 
uh, this area. Um, let's see. Right in this area. Right there. And, it, and if you see, it's one tick above that this uh, candle. So um, it's right there where I took it. And then first target off was at 88.65 for $200. And then the second one came uh, off uh, right here, a little bit above the uh, the other one. So that one's well, that one was for $270. Now in between the three, the four trades, now I'm at 760 bucks. Okay, so. I didn't want to give up on 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 gold on on crude because I you know after the the the, the news on OPEC I thought that it was going to be really a a um, a move to the upside. Okay, so where I was um, eighty eight forty five. Eighty-eight forty-five. This one. Okay, so that one there it came back, and now I took this one here, thinking, okay, this this uh, um, um, this move is going to be all the way to the all the way to the um, to the uh, opening range, the, the upper side of the opening range. But I was wrong. And this is what I'm telling you that you have to keep your stop, your stops tight and you have to keep them and don't enlarge them. I trail this one. So when when it comes back and uh, and, and hit the um, and, and give a, a reverse candle, I'm out. OK, so so, you know, Take advantage of that. I mean, do it, really do it. Now, if you see here, that that white line marks a, a triple top, let's say. So one there, one there, two there, and three there. Kind of you can tell that this area here is important. Now, I took a trade when it broke that one so I, I i i so when this candle closed when when this break over here closed then i took the next one okay and that one was good for two hundred dollars from here to there two hundred dollars from here to there and then i took a a, a uh, profit when when this one on, on the stop when uh, this one came back so you see this one this uh, uh, this uh, brick, uh, brick here had a tail and then came back I'm out okay I'm not going to gamble to see if this is going to support or not I'm in the trade and then I'm out of the trade again uh, I took another week out of the uh, um, or the 18 EMA right there and then that one was a good was good for another two hundred dollars there and then another two hundred dollars two hundred and ten dollars over there okay um, another week there and I took that trade over here so at some point right here uh, with this uh, trades I'm up um, Let's see, thirteen hundred dollars there, and then I gave I gave away um, when, because I, there is a con congestion area. This uh, this uh, um, opening range upper side uh, serve as a resistance, so you can tell right here in this area that there is a congestion, and it's all around the. Um, the opening range upper limit okay then came back and i i was not bearish in in crude so i wait i wait and and then i saw this one that it was coming out of the moving the um uh upper range of the um of the um upper range of the opening range and then I took that that entry right there, um, 
right there that and then i was wrong and again again i know that i'm bullish but if it reverses on me i'm out okay i was out there with um a, with a stopped out okay then another again took took this uh, entry here right took this entry here right in that uh, area uh, let's see here didn't uh, mark it let me go and um okay so it it, it is trying to break out uh, again and then one target was good and the other one was uh break even minus something probably break even right um maybe a couple of points there or a couple of uh, ticks and then uh, i saw now the uh in this area here i'm gonna mark it leave the the uh, line right there okay and now you see when it broke again i took that trade target one again right there for a hundred dollars this time i i was uh actually uh, looking at the um at the lower um size uh bricks uh, the two five ten okay my entry on um on a crude uh is uh, actually the four um a wrinkle which is uh you see i have them defined right here it's uh 4 10 20 that is the one but the small one is the one i use is 2 2 5 10 so i, I took a hundred dollars profit there and then came back uh down so a hundred dollars that one it was kind of a break even minus a little bit um another entry here another week out of the uh, moving average right there and i took uh i took it um that one was a uh, good for one uh or let's see 18 89 89 let me review that 89 89 so that one was unstopped out so i was um stopped out of uh what did i do here entry at 89.89 and i was stopped out at 89.77 yes so it, it was it was a loss but then i re-enter uh and i, I re-entered there um i re-entered there and this one was good for one target and then one one break even okay uh and those uh, were the the trades i took in total i made um in in crude oil i think that i review them all but you get the idea so uh it's 700 dollars uh, total probably i missed a couple of them because i made my screen moved out i'm sorry about that but uh, you know i'm gonna i'm gonna leave it there i'm gonna leave it there for you guys to look and um and hope you like you you like the the video if you do subscribe to my channel and um uh and also like the this video thank you so much for watching and remember you can um you can um ask me questions either in the description here or you can do it uh, in the in my discord channel the description um i have the these links uh, over there so um thank you for watching and uh, see you probably tomorrow